we have uh, uh, Erastus Asari Donko, who is uh, a partner in uh, Kumasi, and our correspondent in Kumasi is going to give us uh, the latest update on uh, how the May Day activities are being marked in the Ashanti Regional Capital. Good morning to you, Erastus Asari Donko. Good morning, Erastus. So we are from Kumasi here. We are currently at the Jubilee Park, and that is where uh, today's May Day celebration will take place. And it's held under the theme, Ghana at 60, more for Ghana's future through the creation of decent jobs. And for the program I'm holding now, uh, we are supposed to, all workers are supposed to assemble here, and, and then assemble at the general office, and then they will uh, take a route march through the principal street of Kumasi, and converge here for the proper celebration. So as you can see, uh, for the proper celebration. So as you can see, um, in the background, we're having uh, people who are getting the place ready uh, for today. There are a lot of concerns on the minds of workers today as we mark May Day celebration. I have with me here some wonderful gentlemen. Uh, they are going to tell us uh, what is going through their minds, what they are thinking, what their needs are, expectations as we mark May Day celebration today. And uh, to my right, I have the NCCE uh, man here. I have the ICU and I have the Ghana Highway Authority. We'll speak to them all. But let me start with you. Yes, yes let me sir. start with you. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. And your name, sir? Uh, UK Entry. Uh, I work at NCC, as we've already said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, tell us, as we mark May Day uh, today, what is going through your mind? Uh, excitement? Oh, Expectation? Yeah, great excitement. It's a day that workers actually meet to celebrate the way that we do for our mother country, our motherland, Ghana. We've been celebrating this almost every year and it's worldwide activity. This year too, we are celebrating it under Ghana at 60, and we expect that um, workers will come in their numbers, I mean, celebrate it, enjoy, see ourselves, fraternize with other organizations, and we expect management to also reciprocate whatever we are doing by helping us. Let me tell you one instance. When you get to your workplace, the work environment, we expect that we get a very good work environment working the tools that we are going to work with, the logistics. At times, we are frustrated. We must be very frank with you. You get to the workplace, you, are, you have the zeal to work, but the tools and the logistics that you want to work with, it's not there, and it's become very frustrated. Let's talk about NCC. So what is the frustration stemming from? What is lacking with your work? Uh, we have a lot of frustrations in our work. You know, we are civic educators. We have every district in this region, for Ashanti, for instance, we have about 30 districts. And we have no less than six staff at the district office. So you see, we can actually do the work that the constitution mandates us to do. But when you get there, the resources in terms of money to do work, it's not there. It's not there. So if you're a manager and you are there, you find it very difficult to even do your work. We have the zeal, we have the commitment, we have the staff, and they are prepared to work. But the money for you to get to the field is not there. Yeah. It, how, how, much is, uh, how, how much is your budget? Uh, what comes to you at the end of the month? Uh, it will surprise you to know that the whole of this year, from January up to today, we've not even received a farden for work. So we do leg work. And so it's a very frustrating kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. So we are only pleading with management and foreign by government to at least turn its attention to workers by giving us the necessary logistics so that we can do work and let Ghana move forward. If these things are not there, workers will find it very difficult to come out with productivity. So we, are, we collect salary at the end of the month, but we need to do it to compensate the money that we collect. It will surprise you that when you come to Ashanti, I mean, not all the have vehicles to do work. And civic education, you can't work. You can't work, work to go and do work. You need to go to the community, the nooks and cranny. So we are only pleading with management to liaise with government to at least assist workers, especially NCC, for us to do the necessary work. If we are able to do work, and conscientize Ghanaians about our constitution, then we are not expecting coup to happen in Ghana again. We've gone far, so we don't want to go back. We need to conscientize everybody in the case so that we can also, um, Ghanaians can also give up their best by supporting government and then make sure that country, the country moves forward. Mm. Yeah. So that's the Na National Commission for uh, Civic Education, NCCE, and you see the challenges there. Let, let's turn our attention to uh, ICU. I can see ICU here, but what's your name? Simon Baba Alote is my name. Mm. 
I am the regional officer of uh, the ICU in Ashanti region. But I seize uh, this opportunity to say good morning to all Ghanaian workers who have toiled over the years to bring Ghana to its present state. Um, I am here, I am going to speak as part of organized labor. I am not going to speak specifically on ICU. But today is our day, and you are not going to see the difference between this and that. Mm. And so, once again, I say a word of congratulations to all Ghanaian workers, but more especially uh, workers all over the world, that today is our day, and we should all be glad to celebrate it as it is required of us. Mm. So, um, uh, if you say today is our day, of course, um, where do we think we are? as workers in Ghana today? Well, um, it's, it's, it's a process, and uh, it has been a process from day one. Uh, year in, year out, workers have uh, always had high expectations. Uh, we have always drummed out these messages in various uh, forums and various uh, programs, expecting to get the needed attention from the powers that be. However, um, uh, at the end of every year, when you take a stock, when you do a stock taking, you realize that our expectations have never been met. But we keep hoping that. What are some of these expectations? Oh, the expectations are that um, every Ghanaian worker must have a decent job, must have a standard, a, a, a basic standard of living, must be comfortable to say that. I am a proud Ghanaian worker. But uh, what we have realized over the period is that um, Ghanaian workers give up their best, but at the end of the day, they are not adequately rewarded. And so uh, sometimes workers are forced to think that it's a pain going to work, rather than saying that it's a joy. I am, this is my office. I am going there to give up my best, and at the end of the day, get satisfaction. You know, that pain is always there. But uh, once we are committed to our responsibilities, we would always uh, give up our best. And so that has always been the problem. Mm. So yeah. you, you think that the inadequate remuneration um, accounts for the seeming lackadaisical attitude of some workers across uh, government payroll? Well, we don't know about uh, any lackadaisical uh, attitude. That one we don't know. Uh, once in a while you hear uh, on air that um, workers are not doing well, but, but there, there isn't enough evidence to support that. Because it is the employer's duty to set standards and ensure that these standards are met, I mean targets are met. And on no occasions have an employer come back to say that these were my targets for the year and you have not met it. And so it is this speculative thing, it, they go on air to say that workers have a lackadaisical attitude. And we don't see it. And so for me, I don't uh, go by that uh, assertion. Mm -hmm. So w what do you think is a challenge that runs through that perhaps uh, uh, workers' needs uh, should be mentioned uh, as we mark Make Day today? What do you think should be at the forefront that Gavin should champion uh, to help workers across the country? Our needs are as numerous as any other uh, person any, anywhere in the world. You see, a worker is supposed to enjoy a decent salary. He is supposed to enjoy a decent housing facility. He is supposed to enjoy a decent uh, transportation system, you know, facilitating his or her movement from to and from the, um, the area of employment. However, this has, these are just a few basic things that I want to, to mention. Now, you realize that it is not the case. It is, it is the opposite. And so, with uh, 2017 May Day, as uh, the, the, the team suggests, despite all these frustrations, we are still prepared to mobilize, okay, and bring Ghana to the acceptable level. Uh, it is up to the employers. We would be using this occasion to call on them, reminding them of our previous calls, that in the past they have never lived up to that uh, challenge. And so this time around, we are hopeful that uh, uh, the right thing will be done. Um, 
let me again say that, um, fortunately for us, we were told not too long ago that uh, the cry of overburdened taxes, you know, was going to be drastically cut down. Nuisance taxes will be taken off. Um, all manner of things that were work, working against the, 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 the happiness of the ordinary Ghanaian and the worker uh, would be dealt with. Yet some efforts have been made in that direction. But we are not immediately feeling it. And so we'll be using this platform uh, to drum home this message alongside okay. all other needs of uh, Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me give the last bite um, before we go uh, to my gentleman here. Your name, sir? Hope Atipo. Uh, Hope Atipo. You work with the Ghana Highway Authority. Yes, sir. Uh, so briefly tell me, um, what's on your mind today? Yes, today is a special day for us. And uh, we are enjoying the day because once a year, a day is uh, selected for us to celebrate mm. a worker's uh, day. Mm. But so, what will be on your mind today? Uh, my mind is that uh, uh, we are urging the government uh, to help us with uh, logistics so that we can do a better work for Ghana. Okay. So uh, from the Jubilee Park in Kumase, uh, it's early days yet, but then the action is yet to start. My name is Erastus uh, Asaridonko. Over to you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Erastus Asaridonko, giving us a live update. Um, as far as the celebrations are in the Ashanti regional capital, Kumasi. And um, we hope to get the latest update from other regional capitals as well.